Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, I, I'd like to say to the, uh, the gentleman from Texas, it is one thing when we all work together to resolve a problem of the um, now millions and millions of products that have been um, recalled and been found dangerous to our children in the face of their death and, and injury. It is another thing when the chairman of the commission designated to uh, take care of those responds to legislation by saying that it would be too cumbersome to uh, actually uh, adopt the reforms that were suggested, um, that whistleblowers, uh, it, it would provide too much uh, problem for the uh, agency to take care of, that the uh, penalties um, would somehow alienate uh, the industry and, uh, and the ones who, who really came to the uh, rescue of the, uh, or to the defense of the uh, chairman with the National Association of Manufacturers, Juvenile Product Manufacturers Association, National Retail Federation, the very people who have been selling or making these products that have been hurting our children. And so I think that the Speaker of the House took a responsible position in saying what she did, that if we are going to protect our children, then we need to have the kind of leadership that will embrace the kind of reforms that we need and not raise excuses for not accepting them. Um, I, I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member Stearns, for your leadership on this issue and for holding this, this hearing. About six months ago, the subcommittee began a series of hearings on how to protect our children from the recent scourge of tainted import imported toys and how to address other shortcomings and I issues in the consumer product safety system. Today we've begun to draft what I hope will be a broad and far-reaching and comprehensive reauthorization of the Consumer Product Safety Act, perhaps our nation's most important piece of consumer product uh, protection legislation. Yesterday the White House told us that the President said the American people expect their government to work tirelessly to make sure consumer products are safe. I couldn't agree more. Families across the country should not have to worry that the toys that their children play with are poisoning them or that their cribs uh, are killing their babies um, in the middle of the night due to a design flaw. Most Americans assume that the government is already doing that work. 75% of people believe that the government conducts pre-market testing on children's products, for example. Just like they trust the government when a package of eggs or chicken is marked USDA inspected and approved, Americans should be able to trust the government to do more than outline voluntary standards for an industry that profits on children, those who are most vulnerable. I was pleased when the chairman announced that H.R. 4040, the Consumer Product Safety Modernization Act, would be drafted in a bipartisan fashion because there's nothing partisan about children's safety. I believe that the bill includes a number of extremely important provisions um, and that it is time that we do this. I was glad to see that H.R. 4040 contains an improved lead prohibition as well as a mandatory third-party testing and tracking labels for children's products. I was happy that it includes the Danny uh, Kaiser Product Safety Notification Act, uh, which I had sponsored requiring manufacturers to provide consumers with registration cards to assist in product recalls. I'm glad that 4040 uh, contains similar uh, language to that which I wrote in H.R. 1698 requiring a broad range of infant and toddler durable products to be tested and certified according to specific safety standards before they can be put on the market. Right now, only full and half-sized cribs, rattles, and bottles are the only infant uh, and toddler products that have required safety standards. By requiring the CPSC to establish mandatory standards and requiring the testing and certification be performed by an independent third party, this bill goes a long way to ensuring parents that the products that their infants use are indeed safe. I hope we'll act to strengthen this provision by including the infant and toddler product review panel that H.R. 1698 would, would have uh, created to advise the Commission regarding existing guidelines and promulgating new standards, and it would include representatives of the manufacturers, consumer groups, independent child product engineers and experts, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission engineers. 
I hope we can look at other improvements. We have a long way to go to strengthen the Consumer Product Safety Act Section 6B provisions, which still leave far too much power in the hands of industry to regulate itself. It's essential we also address the preemption issue. The health and safety standards of the CPSC uh, developed should strengthen those states with weaker laws, but should not weaken those with stronger laws. And finally, I hope I want to make sure we include effective whistleblower provisions. Thank you.